circle, why you look so handsome today? <laughs> I'm always handsome. It's just uh, the outfit is better. Is this your first word? <laughs> handsome is the description to face. All right, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Still, good to see you survive from Ting Strong Strike after the twice last three Chinese war. I already forget. <laughs> Okay. And appreciate you still holding the camera even you are the DME. Yeah. And the helper are kind of windy. I think that's your first time to take this role, right? Yes. Congratulations. And I have to say you are doing well. You explain the role and you explain everything so so clear. And you are also give us a clear picture of what you are going to do. And variety session master Andrew, yeah. I like your game. <laughs> At the beginning, it sounds so simple because everyone can say the capital of the city and try to guess the country. But at the end, it is so difficult, and <laughs> it's like we are reviewing our geographic knowledge, <laughs> and we realize Lucia is the master of geography. geography. <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> and let's go to the speaker, Lucia. You are so brave to give your age again. <laughs> give your age to the public as a woman. <laughs> but I would say, after listening to your speech, I would say you are only 18 years old. <laughs> and it is so great to hear your speech again after maybe one or 1 1.5 years. And I have, I have to say you use your gesture and you use, use your hand well to match your content and match your um, emotion. And I also like you you are talking about some inspiring um, stuff you learn from aging, from 20 to 30, from 30 to 40, and you always learn something when you are in different age. And I think you can, if you have some pause, you forget how to say your content in your speech, you can try to, like uh, what Ben said, you can try to walk to to buy extend the size, <laughs> yeah, to buy some time, <laughs> correct. And team, and team, everyone had no idea why slow three letters yeah. on the wall. I even, I didn't no, notice that. And you reveal it, I realized, wow, that, that's another type of speech, and you turn into another person in your speech. <laughs> but you are still team, you are always... <laughs> my description is dynamic, explosive, and energetic, oh. as always as your speech. And... <laughs> oh, shit, I disagree! <laughs> it is so inspiring, you connect the Kung Fu, what you learn in Kung Fu, and your life together to share about your experience and your opinion toward Kung Fu. And not only the successful story, you also share us the negative story like the, the stuff um, between your colleague or in between your wife. And the only suggestion is that your tone can be more sad, like when you are saying something negative, not just keep um, the positive emotion. Yep. And table topic, Master Punking. <laughs> you point out what we feel when we are assigned as a top table topic speaker. <laughs> like shot. Even more, you are just a guest, mm -hmm. and you just been to this club for the first time. I remember my first time or my second time, I had been assigned as a type of type speaker. Mm -hmm. I was so shocked. <laughs> and I like your question, and you also picked the person precisely, correctly, to mm -hmm. reflect their <laughs> question. And let's go to evaluation section. Bam! 
your evaluation is very precisely to Lucia's speech. Lucia used gesture and eyes expression really well. <laughs> and I, th I have to say you are a detailed observer and you also provide a great idea to remove the mask. <laughs> oh, I forget to remove my mask. <laughs> Use your eyebrow. But also <laughs> Make them dance. <laughs> dance, see some dance. <laughs> I have no hair. <laughs> Don't force me. <laughs> Alright. And also, not only remove the, the mask, you also remind us to keep social distancing. It is very important in this period. And you also provide lots of useful suggestions and also the demonstration about the hair. But I think it's kind of too much or too far. <laughs> so Lucia, you have to judge. <laughs> Maybe try to use another part of your body, not that. <laughs> and Tammy, thanks for coming to Nehu Toastmaster. And I also think your evaluation very accurate. And you also show great observation and suggestion. Um, to the story provided by Tim about um, he and his wife. Because everyone likes the story about love, like what Sherry has been shared, and the story between wife and husband, you know, between inside the family. We all like to hear this kind of story, so yeah, Tim, next time. Uh, <laughs> Debbie, as a language evaluator, you provide lots of suggestions like a professor, like a grandpa. Grandpa! <laughs> Holding a book, educating your grandson or the child you have on the stage. So I, I always like your observation. You provide us lots of fresh vocabulary and even the slang. And you also explain us the slang, the story of the slang. It is like, I, I was thinking that, oh my god, this, this person is on Wikipedia or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what you provide to us about the language is not only the meaning, but also the detailed meaning, such as um, the detailed meaning of sympathy and compassion. And you also provide lots of example connecting with current topic like the maz mazu <laughs> revealing in your dream. <laughs> yeah, it is so connecting to our life. So you must share your notes in our line group. Mm -hmm. And I also like your um, nice welcome and warm up as a uh, president. Mm -hmm. um, everyone, maybe most of people may have the dream to own the shop, but we haven't had the chance to talk in front of people. You give us a chance to do that. But personally, I don't have any dream to own a tiny shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I still have time. Let me go to tabletop speaker, Nikki. I think you are a balanced person. You try to find not change or change, and you can suit in any environment. And I, I can tell you are still struggling, even though this question is what I ask to every individual evaluator. Because you used to be an individual evaluator, but I think the third speaker didn't show up. Does, does he really have time? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I suppose so. I just thought like, oh, I, I okay. already finished my job. <laughs> okay. Then let's back to me. Yeah, me. Yeah, I was wondering, like, you already been there like uh, more than 10 minutes. How's come? How's come? <laughs>